Again, we aren't deserving of any kind of flattery. We're no better than black men or Hispanic men or Asian men. A lot of us have personal issues. Gripes we still have yet to deal with. Hi guys, I thought it was important that we had this, sh you know, quick show. So, to set this up, there is this man, a white man, who went on a date with a black woman. And basically, she engaged in white male worship. And he was not happy with that. So let's watch him and listen to what he says. White man talks no, on black women who interracially white date. guys are somehow perfect. I'm just so sick and tired of it. Because I was approached by a black woman recently um, through social media. She said she liked me. I was like, okay. You know, I took her out for a date. And the whole thing, the whole date, was just her basically fawning over me. Not because of who I am, because I'm actually a shit person. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not a per. you know. I really don't think I'm a great individual. Uh, I messed up a lot in my life, and I regret it. And, you know, though I'm trying to improve, I'm in no way worthy of this kind of, of flattery. It's just, it's, I'm not deserving of anything like it. And the whole thing was because I was white. You see, I've heard this narrative on black YouTube quite a bit. You know, black men are conquered bucks, three trash bag carrying bandits, all manner of things. And in in saying it, they say on the flip side, white men are the greatest, they're the builders and all of that stuff. Now, part of that is true. So let's go through this, right? You know, yes, Europeans do have a great history. I mean, just go to the Colosseum um, in, in Italy. You'll see it. Like in ancient times, they were building. You, you don't have to go far. You know, you can just look at the interstate highway. Look at that. That is fan fantastic. And, and the history of it, how out of world war ii you know the autobahn and and germany and how you know that was you know brought into the us and canada and all of that that's fantastic these are great histories look at the great armies look at the great victories that they won you know go and look at the city lines and those big buildings those tall buildings go you know right here in, in canada go to parliament hill and look at those great buildings at the seat of power and from that seat of power, creating all the protections that help to create the society. Look at the suburbs. Look at the, the fancy parks that are out there. Yes, there is a great history. And in that great history, what people don't understand, it was a few people, exceptional people, that brought society forward. Not everyone. It wasn't because you wore a skin uniform that you were able to bring society forward. It was because you were, by some intersection of of fortune intelligence brilliance luck everything you these men were there to change the world but what is happening now is that some people are putting this burden of greatness on simple people and guess what there are a lot of sick there are just a lot of regular people people who are homeless and yes they are and you know that too People who are working in the fast food industry, yeah, and they're, they're, they're fighting to make things go by and you're going to put the, ve the vestige, that greatness on them? Come on, that's being nonsensical. Then you go across and yes, there's some who are doing well. Go to Wall Street, go to go to, go to Bay Street in, in, um, in Canada, in, in, in Toronto. Yes, they're doing well. And yes, you do have titans. You know, look at, look at Jeff Bezos. He built... He built out of his garage this massive company that's worth two trillion. But we also do have black titans, very few. Look at Robert F. Smith. What's the key? The key is vetting. Because guess what? Not every black man is a three cash trash carrying bandit or cokehead or whatever. And not every white man is Jeff Bezos. But anyhow, let us let him finish and let's you know. Every white man is zaddy to these people. So let zaddy complete what he was saying. Thanks, guys. So, you know, to say I was offended, yeah, I think I was. 
Because that's the only thing that mattered. Was the fact that I'm white. We are not the best dating option. Dead serious. You know, there there's other people out there. And I you know, I know for a fact black women there are black men who are as just in character are better than I am. They're nicer than I am. They have a superior disposition when in <laughs> in public. Much more patient than I am. You know, I want black women to have a lot more self-respect than they do now. Kind of just like worshipping white guys. Again, we aren't deserving of any kind of flattery. We're no better than black men or Hispanic men or Asian men. A lot of us have personal issues, gripes we still have yet to deal with.